We just don't presume very much. Okay. Um, yeah. Cool. Yeah, a, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's all pretty interesting. Yeah. We, we always hope people come. Yeah. We always hope people like it. But yeah. all we can ever be going is the last time we played. Yeah. Yeah. Like, in other words, we don't have an impression of, it's hard to have an impression of what the band is doing in the world. Because if you're reading stuff and you see, oh, I've seen a lot of stuff about LCD sound system, you might be, have an impression that the band is doing a lot. But we always see a lot of stuff about the band because they get sent to us by our PR agent. So we have no idea if that's like a real impression or just like, <clears throat> you know, a result of being... Like a narrow, yeah. narrow scope of, of what, what's actually happening. Exactly. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, so you've been on about a three-year hiatus from... From the band, from records. Uh, no, it's two well, years two off. Years. From two years off. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what uh, What do you guys do in your off time? Or what have you been doing? He wrote a record. He made a record. <laughs> it's been a lot of time doing that. Yeah. Um, I made another record with Free Energy too. You did. You made mm. another record. You made a soundtrack. You made a soundtrack. Yeah. You made a record. I made a record. I went on tour. Yeah, with uh, Harm McLean. Yes, yeah, yeah, of Harm course. Harm McLean. Juan. Juan McLean. Cool. Uh, what, um, so do you produce, do you make the whole album yourself, or do you guys sort of collaborate a bit it, with LCD? It depends. Um, it, it's, I look at it this way. It's my responsibility. Other people do stuff sometimes, but it's sort of like i got to plan stuff and book studios and stuff like that. Um, the best, I think this, I'll see if you like this. This is the best description <laughs> I've done lately. But I've been kind of coming up with a way to explain it. There's different kinds of directors and actors in movies. And I think if LCD was a movie, I would be the director. But with like Nancy. An ensemble cast. But with like, <laughs> but with like you and Pat and Tyler and you know, people that I work with, for, we work, that we work together and play live and stuff, it's more like if I was to flatter myself and say Scorsese, that you guys would be the De Niro's. Uh-huh. In which you're involved in the script early on, and it's all there's all involvement. But at the end of the day, some you know like people have different jobs that they have to do. So mine is more akin to that. So okay. it's a collaborative effort, but not in the traditional rock band sense, or or just I think it's more clearly in the traditional rock band sense. I think bands are often like that, but nobody wants to really be like that. Yeah. Hmm. It's usually okay. just a lot of infighting and bruised feelings. Yeah. But with us, it's like oh, I don't have to be at that meeting. Okay, cool. Yeah. The director has to deal with the prop people. Right. I don't have to deal with that. And so you, you isolated yourself a bit. I saw you had those uh, promo videos. Yeah. You were out in uh, Barcelona? or I wish. No, it was in no. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. It's like Barcelona, but filled with more <laughs> douchebags. Okay. Can um, I speak English? Is that ish? <laughs> you, you were in Italy somewhere or so, somewhere in Europe. I thought you had some oh, no. studio. No, okay. Sorry. It no. looks good, though. Yeah. I'll, I mean, I'll go with that okay. if you want to say that because it sounds cool. Los Angeles, but <laughs> right. and not really isolated. I have we were people around all the time. Okay, we rented a we rented a house instead of a studio, but a studio in it. And there's always like f- at least five people there. Um, yeah. And you know, Nancy was on tour with Juan McLean, so she came when the band was there. Pat was there a bunch, basically reading magazines and swimming. <laughs> uh, you know, Big Matt, Little Matt, and Gunner. There was a bunch of people. People, a lot of people came to visit. At one point, there was like 20 people staying there. Uh huh. Nice. What uh, were you influenced by by any sounds at the time, or you just sort of have your own vision of what you wanted to? I think it's think always it just like, like there's stuff I like, and there's stuff that we all talk about and listen to and like, and it's it's a never ending process of like trying to put down something of your own that works in the way that the things you really like work. And like I think you could do that, you know, making records. I could do that forever, kind of still chasing the same, you know, sounds off of you know whether it's a Suicide record or a Roxy Music record or an Arthur Russell record, just like perpetually trying to say, chase that alchemy around, you know, we're really done. It's like cooking food. I mean, it's like you don't like cook meat and then never cook meat again because you got it right. You know, okay. it's like an endless way of trying to play with stuff that you like. Okay. Cool. Does that make sense? Yeah. And you just tuned out, didn't you? I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, the big news is... Uh, Talking Big news. about that there's a huge oil spill in the Gulf. That's huge news. Horrible news, news. yes. News. And but, but, uh, but slightly more important than that is is I don't know what you're saying. your uh, your leave of LCD taking leave from LCD. Oh no, we're just 
it all seems so much more dramatic. It just makes a lot of, okay, I'm 40, everybody's got stuff to do. To do this band correctly is a full-time job <laughs> because you have a record to make and then you got to make B-sides and you're going to make an iTunes special pack and then you're going to make a video and then you're going to do press and you got to make cover art and then you you got to go on tour and, you know, it, you got to run the, make sure the Facebook and the My Head page don't explode and, you yeah. And then you, it's just a full-time job, which is fine. And it's a great full-time job. But it means you can't do other things. And all of us do other things. And like to do other things. And like to be free to come up with ideas and pursue them. And right now I have like a notebook filled with ideas I'm going to do later when I have time. But, you know, 40 seems like a pretty good time to start being, start to get into that notebook. So it's nothing against the band or it's not like we're going to stop and then be like in a super group with a bunch of clowns from other bands from last 10 years it just means cough uh, vultures cough no. well no just no. like I, it's just, <laughs> I'm not like it's not like to go away and come back with a new name or yeah. go in a new direction it's just more like going a new like still making clown music from the same place but going in a new you know just not just being in the come, bu- in the business in the same shape. way yeah just not being in the business in the same way okay because um, I feel like I owe you know I owe I feel like beholden to do as good a job as we can, and um, I don't feel like pulling back and half-assing it, but at the same time, like, I don't want to, like, I don't want that to be my life. Oh, forever. It's great life now, but... I don't think being on tour the last, however long we've been doing it now, has, like, the more we tour, the more we find, like, new, exciting things that we want to do instead of touring. Yeah. Okay. You know, we just kind of like being on tour and playing music. Um, come across, we just come up with ideas or come across like opportunities that we'd like to, you know, uh, take advantage of. But we can't because we're like in a different city every day, living on a bus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not even a complaint. It's like a great life. It just yeah. happens to be not something you can kind of dabble in. Really, it's mm-hmm. something you know. It's you, all or nothing. You got to do it. It's like being married. You know, it's not like you don't dabble in. Yeah. Can you talk about any uh, future projects that you've been scribbling about? I want a garden. Like, okay. I really want to have a good vegetable garden. Okay. There's uh, vegetables that I had in Paris that were amazing from Racine, and this guy is, you know, it's a lot of work, and I want to have a rooftop garden. Okay. Uh, I'd love to help my friends make records. Like, I can't really do that anymore. That was, like, a big thing. That was my favorite thing to do was make twelves with people and work on songs with friends and that's why DFA started and everything and that's kind of just vanished because uh, there's just no time mm-hmm. um, I'd love to do I'd love to do that subway project make, yeah. make music for the subways uh, okay. um, in New York so it sounds nicer there's some yeah there's a couple of like sound installations and subways that nice just like do some fun like fun interesting stuff Okay. Yeah. You know. Non-traditional. Yeah, and you you know it's hard to say like oh I would love to go on that tour, <clears throat> uh, but I have to sit around and meet with the city officials to work on a subway installation. <laughs> Doesn't really. Ooh, not so good. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, like eat and hang out with people and, and come up with ideas and do them. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's sure. that's how this band started. Yeah, that's well, how DFA started. Was we did that. And that's what this band was kind of. It yeah. was like a like a fun weird project. Yeah, they, they, it wasn't supposed to be a band. I had put out some twelves, and I was like, "Hey, do you guys want to go play some shows? They want us to play shows in England." And it was supposed to be like kind of a one-off thing. Yeah. And we were like just gonna play weird things and never really be a band. Uh-huh. And then it snowballed, and we found ourselves here, which is amazing and awesome. But uh-huh. you know, at a certain point, like. I'm going to die at some point. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to do as many things as possible. Cool. So got your, you got your bucket list. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot.